Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a blush on you stamped with blues. I started this manicure off with Danny Digits Glitter Be Gone and this is Sinful Colors. I got a blush on you. <laughs> and I'm going to top this off with Posh Top Coat. There we go. My camera's kind of freaking out because it is very blingy, very bright. Um, it's not a neon, but it is, is very, very bright and very, very sparkly. This is the first coat, and this does dry down textured. I'm wanting to think this was from like the Sugar Crushing line or Crystal Crush or something like that, but it is definitely a textured polish. I prefer to put a glossy top coat over it and smooth it out. And we're going to go in for a second coat. And that is all we're going to need for this one. It's a two coater. At least for me it was. And while I'm thinking about it, I need to throw in a fiddle DD for my friend Gail. She asked me if I would throw that into one of my videos. So there's the fiddle DD. <laughs> Fiddle dee dee, there we go. <laughs> I'm going to top this off with some posh top coat and get it to dry down. I will leave a link down to Beauty by Gail down below if you would like to go check out her channel. And there we go, we've got that one all top coated and we're going to cap our ends. And I am going to let this dry down all the way before I start my stamping. And of course, you guys know I got to do my clean up. <laughs> Very sparkly. And here is my swatch photo of it by itself. And now we're going to be stamping. And this is Bundle Monsters Nail Stamp for Fun Collab BMX. And I'll have to put it on the screen because it went too fast. And I'm going to be using these Nicole Diary Stampin' Polishes. They don't have names, just numbers. But it's the light blue and the bright blue. My Fabernail Stamper and Scraper. And I'm just going to do the dot blending method here on this one. And there's no rhyme or reason. Sometimes I use two dots or three dots. And sometimes I make up, mix up where I put them. It, I'm really not looking for them to be uniform doing this method so just kind of willy-nilly in this one and there we go got that first one on there and we're gonna go on and keep on doing this to the rest of the nails Falling back in love with my Fabernail Stamper. It's really great when you're not worried about exact placement. We've all gotten very hooked on our clear jelly stamper, so um, it's nice to go back and revisit, you know, other good products. And I really do like these Nicole Diary Stampin' Polishes. They're very pigmented. I've been quite impressed. I have been warned, though, that they may be temperamental in the heat under the lamps and when it does get warmer outside, so we'll see. And these both cleaned up really great with tape. I saved one nail to show you guys. Um, when I used the darker blue earlier in a manicure, I had a lot of issues trying to get it off my fingers and from the skin around my fingernails and this time it just came off like a dream. It was just perfect. So there we go. I'm going to top this one off with Pure Ice Girl on the Run. Very generous coat of it. And I'm kind of floating it over the top because I don't want to smear the design. that in. And here is my final manicure. I hope that it, you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. I always love to hear from you. 
here's my swatch photo. That is all I have for you today. So fiddle dee dee, thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.